This is a vi video in San Antonio, Mexico, which is part of Chapala. Just kind of showing the places around and what there is and different things. Okay, I'm going to walk down this street towards the lake and I'm going to explain some things on it. Here's a pickup truck that has a load of chairs, which I don't know exactly what they're doing, but they're here. Here's some places where they sell at night. They sell different things, Mexican foods and things. These are handmade chairs, made in Mexico. They're all handmade. We're walking towards the lake and there's some people selling things down here. I'll show this as I walk down. There's a school here on my right, and I can hear kids in there, even though I thought school was off today. Some schools are going to school and some are not. It's a holiday here in Mexico today. Here's a woman, she has chickens and all kinds of different things. She has a grinder to grind up meat. There's a handicap ramp up to the sidewalk. Now some of this is handicapped here, right in the central part. Now here is some vegetables on a little outdoor stand here in San Antonio. Beets, a cabbage. I don't know what they are. They're like similar to parsnips. Here's radishes, and of course, small onions or scunions. Different types of lettuce. A lot of green celery. This is all local stuff. When you go in a big supermarket in the United States and Canada, you don't find celery that looks like that. That's because it's been all trimmed up and a lot of it thrown away. Cucumbers, putting everything out meat. There's corn, there's cactus. I'm gonna move ahead of this lady. Package. Peppers, beans, more different kinds of cauliflower, more onions, other things, things all vegetables all cut up so you can make your stew or whatever you want to make. Uh, mushrooms, I don't see where they're from. They say Mexico on the box, MX. They got a scale there, carrots, tomatoes, more celery, potatoes, more different kinds of onions. Now the school is right across the street here. I'll show into the school. Now in front of all schools they have a fence. That's to keep the kids from running out into the traffic when they open the door and come out of the school. And the kids are playing basketball in here. And there's some kids sitting at tables. Playing different things. It's a little loud, but that's their schoolyard. Schools all around on three sides. Very beautiful park. Alright, here's Cafe Adelisa's. Now this is a restaurant that serves all kinds of American food. They specialize in ribs. This is in the back side where they deliver to it and they drive, there's a driveway in there. And this is the restaurant, bar and grill. It's closed right now so I can't do anything. I'm just kind of showing down here, walking towards the uh, lake, towards the Melicone. There's another place that's going to open up something. I don't know what it is, but it's open. Okay, here's some other places people live along here. 
just beautiful, all painted up. If you're ever in San Antonio at the plaza, walk around and look at things and go to the little shops and, uh, cause I depend on people going there and looking at their things and buying things. Now here's a couple of stores. Uh, I won't be going in these stores because I don't have permission. But I can, sh I can show in them from outside. Okay. Here's this first one. There's a car parked in front of it, so it kind of made it hard. And they got all kinds of goods in here. And actually, the two halves are related. This is kind of where they stock things. And then here's the regular store that's all set up with things, shelves, and everything on it. Just have a little of everything. There's detergents and different kinds of bowls. Just all kinds of things. Toilet paper up there. Okay, I'll walk down the street further. I think I'll stay on this side. Here's a driveway in the back. Goes into big yards up there. More places. Places where people park. And this is houses along here on both sides. I don't know how far I'll go, but the lake is at the end of this. If I speed up a little bit, I probably can get to the lake, but I don't want to make this over 10 or 12 minutes. Now here, coming up, is a place where they're building a building. Probably a house. And a lot of brick. A lot of brick on this one. Yeah. As you can see, there's some beams in there for different things. And they're mixing concrete right here. They got different types of sand and rock. And they're building walls here. And they're waving. There'll be petitions here where the steel goes up. Looks like they've been working on this for quite a while. It's very beautiful here. And this will be all fixed up and look nice when it's done. And there's the brick. They make the brick locally. And they're making a wall right there. Hola. Hola. Hi. One of them said hello. This is another cross street. So we've gone a whole block. All right. This is looking east. A couple of businesses down there. And then this is looking west. Mostly houses. Okay, we're going to walk down there. Now this street gets real narrow. It's just one car wide. And it dead ends down here and there's somebody parked. Just very beautiful. That's typical back street neighborhood in Mexico. This is in San Antonio, village of Chapala. We're getting pretty close to the lake. I think I might make it if I hurry. I'll probably just go to the end of the wall down here, the end of the building, and just show the lake off in the distance. Car parked in here. 
Now they have to back in and either drive down or back down, I don't know which. Here's a gate right here, big yard in there. Nice trees here. Oh, it's a lot cooler here. You get into the trees. Yeah, nice big yard in there. Yeah. I have to watch out here. We have a meter box sticking out and a telephone pole. A car parked here and there's a chain across at the end. So you can't go down to the Melicone with a vehicle. Somebody lives in here. They have intercom. Just kind of beautiful. I'll be able to see into some of these yards. Dog in there. She's not even paying any attention. All kinds of things in there. Sometimes you find the antiques in these places laying around. And this lake has, this house has waterfront property on the lake, on Lake Chapala. Look at these beautiful flowers. I try to put flowers on a lot of my videos now. I don't know if people like that or not. Tell me if you want to see more flowers. Because there's a lot of flowers here in Mexico. Now, I'm only going to go a little bit further. Okay, this is as far as I'm going to go with this video. That's looking across Lake Chapala at the south side of the lake. I'll zoom in. You can see the clouds by the mountains. And I want to thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Uh, please tell me what you would like to see and comment on my videos. I appreciate comments. I always uh, make some kind of a comment on your comments. Thank you.